G'day, I'm Eddie Springer, Springer Solar. Here to show you the end phase in Lighten app today to allow you to track your information a bit better and, and see how your system's performing. So this system that we're looking at today is actually my younger brother's system, so Michael Springer. This system's got a couple of end phase AC batteries on it as well, but you can see from this screen some general information. Top left is the date, and we've got how the system has been performing today. So it's a very overcast day in Brisbane today. So this system has only produced 9.9 .9 kilowatt hours. Of that 9.9 .9 kilowatt hours, we've exported 5.4 kilowatt hours to the grid. Next line down is our consumption line. So we can see how much energy this property has consumed. 6.27 kilowatt hours of total consumption. Of that electricity he's consumed, only 1.76 kilowatt hours have come from the grid. So the majority of the energy that the solar system has produced has been self-consumed within the property. We've got a net position below that where 3.63 kilowatt hours in a positive energy position. So we've exported more energy to the grid than we've actually used. As we move over to the right hand side, we can see the roof layout on the system. Now this system has individual panel level monitoring enabled. Some systems might only have color coding of the modules there. This system has the watt hours capability of each and in every individual panel. If you do want to see that and it's not enabled on your Enlighten app, you can go to the mobile site and the mobile site will show you your individual panel out. So you can see on the eastern roof here, uh, the different panel outputs from as low as 559 watt hours right up to 570 three watt hours. So the panels on this roof are all within a fraction of each other, shows us that each panel is performing at an acceptable level. If one of these panels was significantly down compared to the others, we'd need to check for uh, damage to the panel or a, a tree branch or uh, excessive soiling or dirt on that module, which would be affecting its output. On the Western Array, again, we can see all the different outputs. The Western Array is not as high as the Eastern Array, because it's only 1.30 in the afternoon here, so that, that side of the roof hasn't had uh, its full performance until later in the day. Uh, system outputs anywhere from 437 watt hours right up to 480 watt hours. So when we move down to the lower part of the graph, we can see the system output as an overview for the day. Each of these bars on this graph represents 15 minutes of energy. We can see the energy output increasing as we get towards the middle of the day, and some of these dips in it would be the overcast nature of today. So let's just pick a bar. So at 11.45 a.m. today, the system produced 876 watt hours of energy from the solar system. Of that, 30 watt hours was consumed, 664 went to the grid, and 182 went into the storage system. We see down the bottom graph here, we see the batteries being charged. So these are end phase AC batteries, so they show up on the Enlighten portal and app, and as the day is progressing, the batteries are charged. Let's go back a day so we can look at a full set of data for the day. And again, back down to the bottom, we can see how the system's tracked through the day. The little green bar on that is the battery being charged and the battery storage taking energy. The orange is energy being consumed in the house. And again, that little part of that orange graph there that's green is energy coming out of the battery. The battery is full by one o'clock in the afternoon and the battery's flat by 10 p.m. at night. It's only a little battery system at this property as we were testing some things out a few years ago, but it shows you how the system performs. Throughout the day, uh, energy from the solar system self-consumed in the property, uh, used to charge the battery, and the remainder is exported to the grid. So we see the total system energy yesterday, 17 kilowatt hours produced, 14 kilowatt hours consumed, and 2.6 kilowatt hours of net energy exported to the grid. Of the 17 kilowatt hours we produced, 10 we sold to the grid, and of the 14 we consumed, seven was imported from the grid. That gives you a picture of this system for the whole day. We can go to the reports tab, put in a couple of key dates, and you can pick an item here of what you want to track. So monthly production, daily consumption, you can see a heap of different data. We go to the consumption tab. This will show us what our highest consuming days are. So the really dark red days for the month of January 2019 tells us the highest consumption on that day. If we go to production, dark blue, low production, light blue will be the high production day. So you can get a picture of how the system's been performing each day. We go back to the overview and we 
we're back to that main screen of seeing what's happening. So I hope that's allowed you to see features of the Enphase Enlighten app, allow you to see how your system's performing better. These apps will allow you to track your system performance, see your system consumption to allow you to manage your system a bit better. Thanks for your time, enjoy your day. Thanks for checking out our video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. We've got plenty of other stuff available online. Please like our page, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.